While watching this video, please feel free to hit the pause button to go back and review as necessary. These videos are intended to be a resource that you'll revisit as needed. Insulin is a hormone made by the pancreas in specialized cells called beta cells. When a person has diabetes, they don't make enough insulin, which is needed to lower the level of sugar in the blood, also known as blood glucose. Insulin allows sugar or glucose to go from the blood into the cells so that it can be used for energy. Insulin also keeps the liver from releasing sugar into the blood. Insulin doses are measured and prescribed in unit doses. A variety of insulin types are available and they have similar structure to human insulin. Unfortunately, insulin cannot be given by mouth as it's digested by the acid in the stomach, so it can only be given by injection. How does insulin work? After the insulin is injected under the skin, it's absorbed and helps the sugar pass from the blood into the cells where it can then be used for energy. Without insulin, the sugar remains in the blood and our cells cannot use that sugar. And when the sugar in the blood becomes high, the body can get rid of some of that sugar through the kidneys with urination. This also causes an increase in water loss, so the child becomes more thirsty and urinates more than usual. A common symptom in a child with diabetes is waking at night to urinate or wetting the bed after they've previously been sleeping through the night without wetting. Let's look at what happens to blood sugar levels and insulin throughout the day in a person without diabetes. To regulate blood sugar in a steady range, the body releases insulin as needed throughout the day. Foods containing carbohydrates cause an increase in blood sugar. Insulin is released to quickly respond to a rise in blood sugar to maintain it in a narrow range. Throughout the day, the pancreas produces insulin even when we're not eating so that cells always have a supply of sugar. If the pancreas is not producing enough insulin, we must supply it by giving manufactured insulin or insulin analogs. These insulin analogs contain some changes in their structure compared with human insulin, which makes them work more like your body's own insulin. They begin working at different times and they're active for various lengths of time. There are several insulin brands, but none have been shown to be better than the other. The particular brand of insulin your child receives is primarily determined by your health insurance coverage. The rapid-acting insulin brands are Novolog, Humalog, and Apidra. The long-acting insulin brands are Lantus, Basaglar, Levomir, Traceba, and NPH. The goal of insulin therapy is to combine both fast and long-acting forms of insulin to mimic the way the body secretes insulin in a person without diabetes. We take fast-acting insulin before eating. We take long-acting to provide the body's requirement for insulin throughout the day as insulin is needed even when we're not eating in order to keep the blood sugar in a target range. It's important to store insulin properly. Unopened insulin should be stored in the refrigerator in the original box. It'll last until the expiration date stamped on the box, vial, or pen. Insulin that is currently in use, that is, the vial or pen has been opened, should be kept at room temperature. It must be discarded 28 days after opening, even if there's some remaining in that vial or pen. Use a Sharpie to mark the opened vial or pen with the date that it's first used so that you know when 28 days has passed at which time you must dispose of it. Insulin stored at room temperature, whether opened or not, is only good for 28 days regardless of the expiration date. So again, it's best to store unopened insulin in the refrigerator. Drawing up insulin requires the following supplies. Insulin in a vial or pen, a syringe or pen needle, an alcohol wipe, and the dosing instructions that were provided by your healthcare team. First, remove the cap from the insulin vial, Write the date on that vial if it's a new bottle, or if it's already open, check the date to make sure it has not expired. Next, wipe the top of the vial using the alcohol pad, then draw air into the syringe equal to the dose of insulin to be given. For example, if four units of insulin is to be given, draw four units of air into the syringe. With the vial upright, inject the air into the vial of insulin. Next, withdraw the insulin while keeping the vial inverted. If you see air bubbles, you can clear them. Hold a plunger between the numbers 5 and 10 on the syringe and slowly push all that insulin back into the bottle. Then you can draw the correct dose. If you see that bubbles are still present, repeat this step until the bubbles are cleared. 